and welcome to another FAQ Monday. I am your host, Fluff. And today, it's freaking hot, man. It's like, I think it's like 98 or something, which means it's like 100 in the studio right now. It is crazy hot. So I'm not drinking coffee, I'm drinking water in my giant KSR uh, Stein, because Steins are for water. Yeah, we'll go with that. First question, what do you think of the ghost lawsuit? Ooh, that is a deep, deep subject. I am actually subscribed to the uh, ghost lawsuit subreddit where they have all of the legal documentation and I've gone through it all. It took me like three hours and man, that is a difficult situation because it would seem to me that some of the band guys didn't necessarily have some of the things in writing that they should have. Going forward, they made some assumptions and they made some assumptions that because they were friends at the beginning, that meant they would always be friends and buds and therefore financially entitled to things that maybe they didn't sign off on or agree upon. And that's unfortunate because this is the music business and uh, there are no friends in the music business most of the time. And it would seem to me that there there is a lot of he said, she said kind of situations happening, at least based on the legal documentation. So I guess we'll see. I mean, I don't really know. I don't really know what to think, but I can't help but think that if everything was in writing from the very beginning, there would be no question on who owns what and who is entitled to what or what kind of money and all that stuff. So. You know, just like bad record deals, just uh, don't sign them. And, or if you are in a bad deal that you didn't sign something, maybe you should sign, I just, I, I don't know, I don't know. So are FAQ Mondays like back? Uh, for now, I mean, I'm, I'm gonna do them when I can. I can't promise they're gonna be every single Monday, but if I have time to do an FAQ Monday, I will do it. I do have some tour dates coming up. So I'm gonna make no promises there, but I will make an effort to kind of film ahead a little bit. But going down the road, I'll just do them uh, do them when I can. And uh, as long as the questions keep coming, I'm, I'm actually really low on questions. There aren't a ton of questions still. So if you wanna go over to my Ask FM thing, uh, feel free to go and uh, ask me some things and uh, keep this thing going, will you? What do you think about Kit and DIY guitars? Uh, you know, they have their, uh, their demographic and they have their group and they have their you know, the people that like to build that kind of stuff that, you know, usually serves as kind of an entryway into woodworking, um, or so it seems at least. But uh, I, I don't know, I don't really care. I think there are certain jobs that you should be left, that should be left to the experts and guitar making is not something I was ever interested in or even into at all in any capacity. I just, I know I wouldn't be good at building a guitar. So I just was like, no, nah, leave it to the people that are actually good at building guitars. So, you know, it's kind of like a doctor or something, but with strings and pickups and, you know, that kind of thing. When will you make a video of your Mesa Boogie JP2C? Um, not anytime soon. I got that amp and I bought it and it was just unbelievably perfect for the rest repose stuff. And thus it basically went out of the box straight into my road case for, for tours and shows and things like that. And Man, I don't feel like getting it out of that road case. So it's gonna be a while. Eventually it's gonna be on the channel, but for right now it's uh, it's living in its its happy little road case with, uh, with, uh, with its happy little cables in the back and everything's all wired up and it's not gonna go anywhere anytime soon. So uh, down the road at some point, but I'm not in any rush to get it on the channel. And now Fluff reads a tweet. I can edit video, mix a record, and create melodies on a guitar, but I can never seem to put the right amount of dressing on my salad. Suggestion my suggestion to you this week is to come and check out the upcoming 100 Sons US tour with special guest Rest Repose on the West Coast dates. That is right, West Coast, if you are, uh, if you are around starting August 9th in Hollywood, Rest Repose will be playing The Viper Room August 9th, and then we're going to Fullerton, and then we go to Portland, and then we go to Seattle. And it's gonna be a grand old time. If you're not familiar with 100 Sons, it's uh, former and 
current members of uh, Norma Jean, Every Time I Die, and Dead, and Divine, and they're awesome. They're real super hard, and you should definitely check them out. I will link to them below in the description, but you should come on out and uh, come on and have a good time, because it's gonna be a good, gonna be a good time. Yeah. I'll pick up the links down below in the description. You've been wonderful, I've been Fluff. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.